to start the video, but Oh shit, I thought Ryan had to take right, a shit. Wait, wait, wait. John, I'm I'm very, you know, suited not shitting. I, I I actually held my shit in for 2 weeks as a child at a certain point in my life. I knew a girl in college who did that once. More evidence of my Save autism. Save that for the cast. You had I know it's so hard. Do we stop it? We got to we got to tell each other when things are happening. Yeah. Well, I mean Is there a timer right now? What's going on? It, it is are going. we starting? Oh, well, we've got music around. playing. We should probably fuck it. No, okay. That we could... <laughs> fuck it. We wait, got this... bu- we got bust the rhymes. This is a test run just to see how oh, okay. it sounds and goes. I just like that it's recorded. Yeah. yeah just like that it. So Revenge of the Fallen. Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah. Transformers: <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen, starring Shia LaBeouf and I Megan Fox. Deal with that fucking name I, of that movie. I thought you were Megan Fox say was in starring the movie? Megatron. Yeah. <laughs> now he I'm was. in the back hey, seat hey, trying to fuck Megatron. Don't don't. Rule out Megatron. He was there. Yeah, he was there. Like if I had if I had to wager a guess on how big of a part Megatron played in that movie, I'd say he was probably part of it. A mega part of it. Is that the movie where Optimus Prime just straights up like sh- like shoots a dying man in the head? No, that's He's like, um, no Optimus. No, no, no. That's that's Dark of the Moon. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's why everything's got real dark. No, Optimus. Is that a real fucking thing? Yes. I don't. No, I... Optimus. And then he just shoots his fucking brains out like a cop. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> Like, like a cop. <laughs> no, dude. Man, Optimus right, is the ultimate extreme prejudice. Optimus is a space I'm going cop. to commit arsony, felony. Rico. Yeah, this is my this is my my Be Rico. Be careful. Timer. Be careful. It's my dead grandfather's mic. That's my wah, dead grandfather's wah. mic stand. <laughs> this is my <laughs> living. Why don't you say that at my funeral? I want you to come to my funeral. Uh, like undressed, you know. Undressed. <laughs> you, want me, you want me to come wearing There's this? Something, sh- no, right, no, I'm gonna come no, wearing fuck. this shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, w- I want you to be, you know, no, sh- no, no black tie, no, no white shirt, no, no vest, and I just want you to come up, grab the mic off my mom as she's crying. I died early, by the way. <laughs> and and <laughs> that's my second favorite. Some guy to up. shuffle nuts. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna shuffle. Up. If you're gonna shuffle some nuts, they better be so trolling. Four ways. So we, so we on right now. Yeah, we're on. Are we rolling? <laughs> um, thank you for naming like a horse. Right it was. It wasn't a name. That was. That was actually a, a giggle. Yeah, a chortle. It's me holding in a giggle. <laughs> I like that. I was like, are we recording? <laughs> we start making dog noises. <laughs> this oh thing. This this cast is fucking dead on arrival. Dude, dude, it's it's they're just like all right, guys. Let's like let's start a podcast. Every time it's like let's start a podcast, and then it starts, and then it's just like just oh, nonsense, dude. Yeah. It's just nonsense. Like it's nowhere. There's no beginning or end. It is just down arrival. This is I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh god, yeah. I almost wanted to talk about like the worst thing I saw when I was a baby photographer. Well, hold an on, infant baby photographer. Before we do this, let's introduce ourselves. <laughs> you like went like you're a baby. I'm a big fan. When I was one year old, I was walking around with a little camera. I got a camera and up in your fucking crib. (laughs) Taking pictures of my goo goo doll. So when I was dressed up like a a cameraman (laughs) as a child. God, I fucking wish. That would be the best. Also, sync clap. (laughs) Sorry, that was probably not helpful. That fucking sucks. One person, one person. Thank you. I'm keeping all of this in. Good. Hello and welcome to Troglomike, a podcast where three idiots decided to go into a basement and pretend they were special enough to put themselves on the internet. I'm John. Ryan. Garrett. I was going to be like, I legit forgot my name for like one second. I was <laughs> Shit, like, sorry, the pressure's already too much. <laughs> All right. I, I Good start. Go, go, go. <laughs> fucking start stroking out the moment the cast comes <laughs> on. Fucking, is someone burning toast? It's like really? you just, like blood starts running out of my nose the minute you turn the camera on. Is that a thing? Uh, like, smelling, like an aneurysm? Sm- smelling burnt toast? Uh, uh, apparently that's a myth. Like that, no, no. I, it seems too specific. I from like what I've heard from what I've heard it's just like any feeling that you can get that's like out of the norm. It's like if you're just walking around, you're like that smells like a burnt light bulb. Like it's just some like random, maybe oddly specific thing. You're just like, huh? That's a feeling that I feel that is abnormal at this moment in time. That's terrible. I don't know. Yeah. I've yep. heard um, Michael from Vsauce describe like having a stroke. Not that he had one, okay, but like, what like say. the feeling of it yeah. is, or just something in that vein. Can you imagine you just like you're walking around one day and just half of you just stops? Like that's fucked up. You you okay, Ryan? Like this is like look, we're hitting a little too close like, to home. You look like you're like melting. Do am I sweating a lot? 
<laughs> no, no. Dude, I drank so much coffee today. I have been sweating so much. That's uh, true. I, I'm actually. I'm gonna take a swig. I almost addressed it. I don't, I, I, we were having dinner with John's family. We had Sam. And I was like, oh my god. We were talking about the burst reverse, and like, I I was laughing so hard, and I drank so much coffee today. I was so, like, melting. I was like the wicked witch of the fucking west. <laughs> you can't just you can't start bringing up the burst reverse like less than five minutes into the cast. It's a gaslighting kind of. Kind of Every, song, everyone in. I want everyone who watches this video, if you've made it this far, comment burst reverse. Yeah, comment hashtag burst reverse. It could be an for fifteen percent off of your your fucking Audible <laughs> coupon. No, I, will, I, I thought you were say something else when we said coupon. I was like, no, this is a this is a family friendly cast. If you don't mind swearing and horrible things being said to your children. Would you stop for context? No, while we've been setting no. You know what? Fine. No context. No context. <laughs> like Thanksgiving dinner. Need sex. No context. Thanksgiving dinner. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna reoccur. Um. It's gonna take in, off. in the cast. It's gonna be in here a lot. That that line right there. I hope this is the only time and, you say it. And. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a, you just, we just forget about it. No, but it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a popular line. We're gonna make T-shirts probably. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna have a Patreon subscription bonus. The, the, yeah, Thanksgiving, the, the Thanksgiving dinner tier. level tier. Ba, 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 Patreon. Yeah. Anyways, so um, if you don't see us after I, like, we film this, it's because we killed uh, ourselves. God. Is that too edgy? <laughs> All right. So we want to get started on what we're actually gonna talk about. What's the, uh, what's any, the anything to get off the topic of Ryan's cock? Yeah, Ryan's morning wood. Um, All right. So what do we got here important. for topic one? Do you it's remember? Topical. I got it written down. Oh yeah. Collectibles. Yeah, we we uh you know we've got a, a lovely treasure trove of collectibles set out here, and we're already making ourselves look bad enough by starting a podcast in our twenties. So let's talk about the the nonsense things that we collect. Let's talk about how we've wasted our lives, real quick. Yeah, on monetary things to uh fill our nothing voids. As much as I, yeah, I capitalism. I, yeah, dude. Shitching. Yeah, dude. I fucking I hate the corporate man, but dude, do I love buying some more Nintendo games? Yeah, let, we let, say with the dude. fucking Funko let, Pop on the table. Let's cash in on the uh, the communism that's uh, wave that's going over the country right now. Let's quickly just say socialism is great. Just like sp <laughs> into the, into the Spider Verse with Hobie. That was an absolute cash in. It, it is so ant antithetical to the actual like message of communism to fucking throw in Hobie and just be like, yeah, we, we love we love not making money. That's like that's our thing. We love come anti capitalism. Yeah, like yeah, we buy a Hobie we, book bag. We yeah, <laughs> yeah buy, buy a Hobie book bag. Thank you for paying money to see the Spider Man Marvel movie. Thank you. Thank you. It's it was it's it was impossible. good. It was really all good. of this money goes to uh, Joseph Avia Rod. Stalin's family. <laughs> Yeah, that too. <laughs> you know, he's still kicking around. He's out there. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that place that Hitler's at? Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Yeah, him and jo Stalin and Hitler. Yeah, they're vibing Stalin out in Argentina. They're, 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 they're having, having some chess martinis. Chess matches. Chess matches. I mean, they don't like each other. Yeah. But That's I figured... It's, um, good. it's good for... <laughs> Keeps the brain act. Yeah. In their keeps old, the brain rot away. In their old youth. Yeah, but I figure we should just talk about... We could talk about some of the little, collective, little collections we've got. So, uh, I don't know wants to start i mean this is i mean this is your whole thing like that's everything, true everything, yeah, this is all, everything uh, in this background uh john owns like yeah it's kind of embarrassing thing. when you put it on display like that um but it makes for a Who good shitty little house? impromptu yeah well you know embarrassing it's cool as fuck it, it, it is humble, humble. Humble. Right, and right. i i definitely i mean like you've got a collection for just about everything like what are my the bigger question is what consoles you don't have but i'm just yeah. like, that's a good question um like what like the oh god the turbo i, I don't turbo graphic 16 i don't have um atari i don't jaguar i don't have an atari jaguar but i do have half a power cord for an atari jaguar Jesus. what do you mean half a power cord that's just an edison cable okay no hold on it's a relic so we're going off on another tangent so when I bought my Super Nintendo, I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace, and um, you know I'm looking oh, at pictures, yeah, and it yeah, looks it looks kind of busted, but you know I I like fixing old electronics, so I figured I'd give it a whack. It was 25 bucks, so I drive over to get it, and the guy gives it to me in a cardboard box. We we exchange pleasantries, and I go on my merry way. So I get in my car and I open the box to look at it, and you know Ryan's moving the mic, um, and is that bad? Is that a no no? No, you're fine. Um, Mother. <laughs> so I have to edit that shit. Yeah. yeah I, um. I comment on your dog. I forgot your dog's. Yeah. Bell is Bell is hanging around yeah, up there. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear her pitter patter. But anyways, we won't for much longer. Go on. Yeah. So <laughs> I got uh, I got my Super Nintendo. Go I opened the box Joe. and I'm looking at it. My God. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, well, I, was going to I think this like, is a I, like the burbs. I think this is a good time to point out that we are doing this in my parents' basement. I'm cutting all of this out. No, I want them to know how pathetic this is. <laughs> Every fucking podcast of people say. who like, okay, living at home is not pathetic. No, no, it's not. It's a good money saving technique. Seriously, yeah, it's we're in college. Sometimes. Love your parents. <laughs> we're also, all at a family member's home. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. back to the Super Nintendo, which you know is more important than family. Um, kill, yeah. kill your parents for Yoshi's Island. Shout out Fast and Furious. Yeah, it's all about family. It's all about family. Um, so Shout out to Optimus Prime and the new Transformers. Shout out God. to Optimus Prime. God, <laughs> God bless it. Shout so the shout out to Mega Bong. <laughs> so the Super Nintendo. <laughs> So I opened the, the thing up. Nintendo. I opened the thing up, and I knew it was busted. Megatron. It's missing. It's missing the eject button. You guys are the worst. It's missing Sorry. the eject button, and like you know, the the shell's busted and everything. Um, but I'm looking at it, and I noticed that there's no power jack. Um, and I'm looking at it. What the, what the hell are you doing? It's a BR. <laughs> God. So it's missing the eject button. Yeah, it's missing the eject button. And I'm looking at the power power thing, and it's got no power jack. It has no like actual like plug somebody soldered it in directly to the motherboard they clipped off the connector and just soldered two stray wires to it and i'm like well that's weird but at least it's still you know at least it's a an oem super nintendo no it's a fucking jaguar it's an atari jaguar cable do you know how rare atari jaguar cables are they're rare i don't know why there's one connected to the super nintendo i want to know what that cable's journey is that, that guy was from a different timeline where things worked differently. Yeah, and, and there were dremeled holes in the bottom of the fucking Super Nintendo. Like, and I opened it up. Somebody went to fucking town on this thing. And all it needed was a new fuse. That's crazy. I'm telling you, that it's, guy was from a different Spider-Verse. It's, yeah. It's amazing knowing that. It's like, man, you know so much that you hardwired this thing and rigged Incorrectly. it. Incorrectly. Like, right. Like, you did so much when you needed to do so little. Yeah. It's, it's also like it's the most common thing that goes wrong with those consoles. The the fuse? Yeah, the Pico fuse. Pico yeah. day? Yeah, we don't have to get into the technics because I you know well, I want people to footage, actually any, enjoy listening to this. But. Any footage you have of that, please send it to me because I know you had the story up on Snapchat. Yeah, so if, you, I, if you have any yeah, of it true. saved, That's I'll true. put Those it up on I'll put it up on screen right now. Okay, yeah, sure, oh, I'll, that I'll would send be it. Nice. Yeah, I'll send it because I did. I sent out a little Snapchat for any little basement dwellers who wanted to see me fixing old electronics. I did the same thing with the Sega CD back here. I fixed it and then I opened it up to give the Just motherboard a cleaning. Seat. And I replaced some fuses and the clock battery, and then I plugged it in, and now it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't wah, work? Wah. Didn't you have it working like a while ago? Yeah, and then I tried to clean it out and be a good little boy so I could sell it, and then it doesn't work now, so <laughs> I have clo- to... Flew too close to this? Somebody. I did. Arch- Arch- <laughs> that's not Archimedes. I- Icarus. Icarus. Yeah, Archimedes making some triangles the or whatever. fuck is Archimedes? <laughs> that's the bird from... That's a real person, but my brain's like, dude, Archimedes Team Fortress 2? I'm sorry, wah, I fucking love Team Fortress 2, man. I don't give a fuck. Uh, but uh, Ryan, what do you like to collect? Oh man, I'm, I'm big into I'm big into rocks. Tell me about the stones. I'm big into stones, fossils. I I found a fossil in my road the other day, and I'm with this fo- fucking Nimrod <laughs> on Discord. He's out here disputing my rock capabilities, my geology information. Disgusting. No, but I found three fossils in my driveway the other day. That was really fun. You can just go into your driveway, basically, and find fossils, which is really If cool. you're in Ohio. No, like, it's just <laughs> the gravel that they put in your driveway. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, like, a lot of it sometimes just ends up, it's a fossil. Damn, yeah, I didn't know that. Really interesting stuff. But, Tell me um, about, oh, sorry, I was just saying, I want to hear good. about uh, the Irish girl who told you, told you you were meant to find uh, stones Rocks. in a cave oh, in yeah. Ireland. Uh, so, uh, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what the Destined. hell is this? Destin, that's me, rock boy. But uh, yeah, my family was in Dingle, Ireland recently on a vacation. <laughs> Dingle is Why? the name of the 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 <laughs> county. Why does Ireland have the dumbest shit? The Dingle oh, Island, the Balls my. Bridge Hotel. Like, what the fuck's going on over is there? Is that real? That's a the real. Balls, thing. That's dope. What do you mean? You're telling me you're not happy about that? Tell me you're not happy about Dingle Ireland. That, that name. All right, that's a good. I, point. I mean, I love it. Does, I love it sparks it, but joy. I'm just like, who's naming this shit? It sparks joy. I got to do my belt. I drank too much coffee today. My tummy. You gotta go shit gotta, right I gotta, now. I gotta, t- I gotta, I gotta take my button down. No, I don't got shit. Like I said, I, I, I can hold my shit in for at least a week, and that's on God. 
we'll get back to the shit story about it. you know somebody yeah i knew a girl i knew a girl in story. my my early years of college who held in her shit too long she had to go to the doctor because apparently she'd held it in for so long it just built up like inside of her body <sighs> uh she tried to waterboard me oh. anyways classic shit holder right there yeah. waterboarding <laughs> they can even do it to their asshole <laughs> That's called an enema. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but uh, uh, not to be together. I was about to reference Big Mouth. There's a big. I don't. There's a big mouth. We're there's canceling a big, the There's cast. a big mouth episode where someone he has a. <laughs> see you guys. See ya. Get, see uh, for ya. context, Garrett just left. If you're not uh, looking at the video, there's an episode of um Big Mouth that uh you know he, he has a shit that he just like grows inside of him and he has to like fight it out. And it's like talking shit to him the whole time. It's like coming out of his asshole. And it's like, ah, you're worthless. Your mom's a whore. And like shit like that. And it's just this big old log. It's because he ate a bunch of burgers and didn't drink enough water. I thought that was like every episode was like, he's like, I want to masturbate. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, worthless, yeah. you filthy creature. <laughs> like that. Like that's almost every episode. I'm of definitely Big not episode Will of Big Arnett. Mouth. Every episode of Big Mouth is just, oh, I want, I want to do a thing. You're fucking stupid for doing a thing. Ah! Take your clothes off, child. <laughs> what? Kid penis. First it's, episode. It's, it's I've mouth, never man. seen Big Mouth, and this it's, is. It's just a lot of children doing things that shouldn't be done by children on screen. Oh, good. Yeah. Like uh, what? There's the Kid Cock first episode of Big what? Mouth. What? A lot I'm of, not, I'm lot not of yeah, Kid yeah, Cocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. So tell me about these rocks. Okay, so these rocks. And these cocks. Do you smell? With the rocks cooking. I <laughs> you know that fucking thing? Stone soup. No, but uh, like I'm in Dingle, Ireland, right? And uh, right outside of our, our house that we got, it's like a, I don't know what it was, like an Airbnb or some shit. Um, you know, there's like a field and then it goes into a bay that's, uh, you know, has like a pretty sharp drop off. Like really sharp. The whole time I was like plastered to the side of this this uh this drop off just like hanging on to grass right like my, my my parents couldn't come down there with me like my dad clay clayton himself could not come down in this uh in this little ravine because it was so treacherous but i i managed to fiddle my way down there right right and i i the whole time i'm seeing these veins of like uh like white rock and i'm like these look like crystals and turns out they are we're actually in a specific part of ireland that um, has a lot of volcanic activity. And they have these things called um, carry diamonds. Okay. This is the carry ring yeah, in Ireland, yeah. I'm fairly certain. I might be getting that wrong. But um, this specific place, they have carry diamonds, which are just these really nice quartz crystals. And Dude, just like Steven Universe. Sure. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> big mouth, Steven. We're getting the big, like, three. You got to reference stuff to the crazy Show show them your socks, Garrett. <laughs> oh, no. If if you can't see Garrett off. Garrett's wearing <laughs> pickle no, Rick socks. <laughs> pickle Rick. You know, they're gonna turn it that off. That was some harmonizing, man. That was some that good. Was nice. fucking, can you imagine? Can nice. you imagine you're like trying to mow the lawn listening to this podcast? Not that anyone's ever gonna do that. But <laughs> can you imagine? You just I like will. I turned it off. I, I turned it off immediately. No, the, the, the thing is that the lawnmower is going to fucking take flight the moment they get that, <laughs> that, like, that C sharp. Dude, like fucking the no, car no. at the end of Greece just fly up into the sunset. That's when they start yeah, smelling they, toast, they, man. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be their Icarus moment, baby. Oh, man. I flew too oh. close to the pickle, Rick. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, wa I'm you. in Dingle, I'm, Ireland. Dingle, Ireland. Getting I'm, these I'm carry walking diamonds. down this, these treacherous slopes, and I, I end up upon a fucking small little cave in in the rock just chock full of these crystals and I, this is not something i'm looking for or anything i just stumble upon this bitch this hoe this motherfucker and i'm like Jesus Christ. no one's listening to this no, no i'll listen to it i don't give a fuck i'm having a blast that was me yeah i'll show my kids oh, oh dude you knocked down the lord of the rings blu-ray dude how are they gonna know i have the three film collection on blu-ray woe is me and they okay. call it a blu-ray are we still paused? Welcome no. back. Uh, I, I just paused it to reset the time. Yeah. So I'm just, adding, I'm just gonna cut back to fucking Brian. So you found. A so you're in the mines of Moria. And, and they, they call, call it a mine. mine. A mine. For all the L O T R fans out there. Continue about your dingleberries. On the topic. Um. So so I'm I'm like in there. I'm mining these hoes with my hands like i cut and apparently you know these crystals when they break they are sharp i come back 
with my hands bloodied with crystals in my fucking shirt. The children yearn for the mines. We yearn for them. All so right. you were, you were having the intro to Uncut Gems in real in real life in Ireland. Oh god. Wait, was that movie called Uncut Gems? No, that wouldn't make sense because he is Jewish. Okay. What is it like? I thought it might have been a That's circumcision a, the, joke. Well, that, yeah, that is like part. Was it? I, I haven't. I don't know. I haven't no, seen Uncut it. Gems. Well, yeah, just yeah, he's like, Jewish. The, the, a, a big thing of the character's identity is like how strongly he hel- he holds his Jewish faith, and the, the mm-hmm. title being Uncut Gems, with it also being like the rock itself um... isn't like cut. Like it's just a whole quart yeah. of opal. I see. So mm. th- there, there probably are a lot of like title like things to look into with that title huh. great I, I was kind of thinking I, I, I don't know if I watched the whole thing it it's was so good. Really I've watched good. it like two three what times I, I love it. it really oh it's so I love good. Kevin Garnett saying uh why you show me this motherfucking rock dummy yeah why you show me this motherfucking rock if I can't have it <laughs> uh, <laughs> alright so tell, tell me about your rock I come home you know I, I got bloody hands you know I, I, I fish these rocks out and then we end up at a, a crystal shop where they're selling these rinky dick small little bitch boy crystals that are the same thing, Worthless. but just, you know, ass, you know, compared to mine, the bottom of the barrel. These quarts are worth a you know, quarter. And I'm just here going to this crystal shop like, I don't need to buy none of these. And I didn't really know if I could get in trouble for stealing these rocks. I don't know if Ireland's like a state park. Ireland National State Park. Northern Ireland, yeah. Southern Ireland? Fuck, hey, that's, that's mine. Fuck, hey, yo, real quick. Fuck Northern Ireland, am I right or am I right? Fuck Northern Ireland. We get we getting hot oh, and heavy dude, in this, this podcast. Is, we, you, we just said no discrimination. Now we just said fuck, fuck Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. Hey, the, the people fuck? are fine. The Protestants are weak. Let me just say that. <laughs> oh my right. Christ! <laughs> That's what staying in. That's staying in. That's staying in. Is it? Yes, I'm I an Irish American. I'm an Irish American. I'm not allowed to be mad at uh, Protestants. That's like having a Jewish person on here and telling me you can't be mad about Nazis. I don't know if that's the same thing. That's, I don't know enough about it's it. It's the same thing I is do. Is it? Is it now? It 100% is. Regardless, it's content that's good. It, you know, it, this is. We're this, talking about it. This is getting. This is Patreon only part. <laughs> we are, we're not going to have a Patreon. No, 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 no. Why do you guys keep talking about a Patreon? Eventually, <laughs> listen to me if you guys could. <laughs> <laughs> guys, if you want to donate to this podcast, you can donate $1. What? what? Two cents. Two cents. Two cents. Two cents a month gets you the full uncut podcast, the uncut gems podcast. The, the uncut. I don't know. Yeah, you got yeah. My bad. Uncut pod. But I go to I go to this crystal shop, and uh, she, I, I talk to this lady. I'm like, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for uh for having these these uh these, these crystals that I mine, and uh, she's like, Nah, man. <laughs> she didn't say that, but she's like, Nah, you were meant to find those. And I, you know, as an Irish American who really Ooh. fucks with my heritage. Wait, wait, wait. She, I was just was like, she, wow, that means she, a lot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Was she a fortune teller or was she like a shop owner that was no, like, she, no, you these are new these are new crystals, Ryan. You can call these the Galatly gems. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. she was it was just a like, little hole in the wall, mom pop shop, crystal place. And this little Irish lady's like, you, you were you were destined to find those. And that just really, you know, that hit hit me right in my heart. And I was like, Thank you, thank you so much. Because I was worried the locals might be a little you know, yeah. pissy about me taking like the taking their stones yeah of course of course it's, of course yeah it's ha huh. as i drink it up <laughs> thank you thank you yeah uh where do you keep where do you keep your stones ryan um actually funny you mention it i'm sure you you know why you mentioned it <laughs> <laughs> a birthday gift i got from a a silly little boy named john burse um you know, famous for the birds reverse of course God um, bless it. he <laughs> he he gave me a talking talking Talkie, talkie, talkie. Talkie. He gave bad. you some talkies. Talk, he gave yeah. me some talkies. John did a little talkies, but um, not since the incident. Eat, not since the I incident. genuinely haven't eaten him since. Really? Yeah. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. We'll we'll get, we'll to get that. the incident eventually. But, um, <laughs> but uh, he gave me for my birth birthday. Oh, it was yeah. Christmas. No, no it was Christmas. yeah, it was Christmas. Christmas. He gave me a Talking Heads seventy seven um record. I don't know if that's how you say that. Yeah, it's vinyl, or whatever. is it like your self titled or something? I couldn't tell you to be honest. I don't know. But Great I album though. Love Talking Heads. Love that record since I've gotten it. It's so good. Um, yeah, he gave me that, and I, I used that that record, uh, the cover, chief record cover, to uh, to you know put my crystals on for a minute. It didn't take them off, and they kind of just completely they were bent, too strong, completely warped this, this this cover to like hell. Yeah, I've never so seen now, anything like that happen before. <laughs> it's really weird. It like, is. Why it's bizarre. It's like, like I kind of fuck with it though. The, yeah, it's, it's the like energy the of the crystals, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it fucks with David Byrne. Okay, it, 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 it fucking pressed in their soft spots. Oh, of course yeah. it did, dude. New new podcast name. Crystal cast. 
Crystal Cast now. This one's the Crystal Cast. We're just gonna name each podcast we do a different thing and make it impossible for anyone yeah. to find. It's the it's the alternating name podcast. Yeah, the nameless cast. Yeah, it's yeah. podcast roulette. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, they just sit on my record player in my room, uh, just flat on that on that that cover, just bending it. It's more wait, and more. it's like, still all the on si- the cover. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They still oh they rest Christ. there. It's, Here's the thing, though: it's, is it's I hold that as a high honor. I hold that as a high honor. Of course, it, you should. They're that those crystals mean a lot to me, and that 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 cover means almost as much. Sorry, I couldn't say more than that. No, I don't want you to. Yeah, of course, of course. That's come on, man. It's, it's a Talking it Heads album. I mean, it's good, but like it's great. It's but great. like crystals you got in Ireland that you were destined to find. Of course, no, start making sense. How much of them did you? How much? <laughs> hey, did we get that one. Uh oh, <laughs> crystals come to town. <laughs> great song, great song. Uh, so how much of them did you actually get to bring back, or did you like I... plunder that fucking hole? As many as he could stuff in his prison that, wallet. That's the thing. They were all over the place like they were ch- they, they, so you, they you were left some you left some for the oh yeah the natives well, and the, the thing is also that that beach like i said it was hard to get down like i'm i'm an athletic boy you know i got good balance and such <laughs> not to do my got, own you've got horn some, you've got some petite feet that can jump down yeah yeah you, <laughs> ryan's got those petite feet i remember one time i remember one time uh, i was i saw ryan running with his petite feet and uh, i says i says i says uh slow down ryan you're gonna you're gonna wipe out your petite feet and he looked at me he said nah uh nah uh you can't catch me nah uh and i remember i saw my i says i said slow down boy and um he tripped in a pothole broke his legs off never the same never the same such a tragedy huge tragedy it was i weird. hated yeah. the worst time of my life it was weird <laughs> one time when we were hanging out i saw ryan go up the stairs i'm like whoa 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 slow down that's when I get one because I, I had a feeling that was gonna be the last time I was gonna see those those little piggies, those little petite feet, those little, those little petite, petite piggies, those petite oh. piggies. Sorry, I got there before you. Yeah. You Ryan's little, got clinically you small little feet. Little bastard. What was that? What were you going on about? Some little some little guy in the Steelers bastard. has like clinically small hands. Oh yeah, uh, shout out uh, AFC North, the hardest division <laughs> oh in my football. God. AFC you. North. Yeah, we gotta get every niche. We gotta hit every box. Um, the AFC North, the hardest division in football. It's best players put on a team could go up against every other divisions best players put on a team um <laughs> but uh, you know quarterback to the pittsburgh steelers terrible poverty team that's really bad <laughs> jesus oh my um, god uh, see, see we don't want the pittsburgh steelers fans of, of, on the podcast oh um, god we gotta weed them out way to call early. i mean but terrible poverty team <laughs> they are poverty franchise always has been <gasps> i don't even think they've won a championship that's a lie They're we're supporting waiting. the browns yeah, here we go, Browders! Wait, wait, you see that they got their new profile picture pic? Yes, it's. I was a, gonna show it to you the other day. It's, I, the, one, I, I, it's, it's the one I dig. They got that yeah. dog in them. Yeah. It's oh a good yeah, dog. It's, it's the good dog. It's, it's the one that's like almost feels like a Samurai Jack style. Where it's, it's, okay, it's like, like it's, it's the one with really like nice. yeah, like the dogs like, the like shadow down on yeah. It. It's like eyebrows are so big. It's just all darkness. Okay, like Batman really cool. style like shadow where it's all just harsh darks. Okay, which it was, I really dig. It was the one I was rooting for. Yeah, one of the top three. Yeah, the other ones just look too nice. Nice. Yeah, just, but but uh, Kenny Pickett, yeah, Kenny, that's quarterback the for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, <laughs> historically Poverty small team. hands, historically small hands, little bit. He, he's got the petite piggies, bro. <laughs> and they're you know they're gonna get those hands are gonna get uh, picked off quite a lot by Greg Newsom. What the fuck are you De- talking about? Den- Denzel Ward, dude, and Martin Emerson, all cornerbacks for the Cleveland Browns. Maybe JOK too. Hey, Miles Garrett, throw him in there. I look. I don't know about you, Garrett. I got no clue what the fuck this guy's talking. You know about. what? I, honestly, I honestly am kind of glad that there is just like one little blip of a moment for like yeah. people who are like, dude, sports. Bro, yeah, bro. sports ball. Yeah, I like. I was in marching band. Uh, I played <laughs> soccer. I didn't like football until like two years ago. I don't. I don't really care for any sport. But if like, man, I'll go enjoy a hockey game. I'll go. Fuck. That's fair. They well, they just beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, right. I'm probably pissing off some hockey fans by saying that. I'm sure there's a lot more to it. But no, they, well, they, I just lost they, my Canadian they, they, audience. They accept that. Yeah. Okay. There goes there goes the Canadians. Yeah. And people from Damn Pittsburgh. It. Oh. They like but um. Too. So Gary, what what kind of things do you like to collect? Yeah. Legit, I fucking have almost like cut collecting like hard. I mean, I just installed um a DVD drive into my PC like oh, I've yeah. shown you. So I definitely want to start movie collecting, but yeah, I, I have kind of a problem with that. Well, that's I don't know if you can, see. Think, I well, you can see behind me. This is just like well, that's a, a small, I'd small wanna, collection of my Blu-rays. Sample size. I mean, yeah. there's a the a YouTuber I really like. That's your movie sucks, and oh, he yeah. has like his own little Criterion collection of like movies. That I he would really love likes. to have the space for that. 
heck, dude, I was actually at the exchange the other day, and they have a Criterion collection for films, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought that was I, that was completely new to me. They're like, oh, yeah, here's the, the regular Criterion, Blu-ray, 4K. I was like, oh, holy shit. Like, they were selling, like, Seven Samurai and stuff. I, oh, yeah. I was like, man, that would be crazy to own because, ugh. Uh, what do you mean by like, cr- cr- Criterion? The Criterion Oh, you collection, don't know? The Criterion collection. You're not hip? not familiar. It's, My bad. It's no, like, it's all right. I don't know about fucking the hands. Davy Crockett, Pickett, whatever his name is, small I, hands. I don't know exactly what, like, how to label it, but it's just like movies that are almost like pristine art house, like very yeah. like like very like hand selected films mm. that are like these are the top shelf money. Yeah. That's so okay. the the Criterion Channel um, is like, uh, what would you call it? Like a publishing company. That uh, they, are they um, publishing? I, there's something along those lines. I may be getting this egregiously like a wrong. Justice League um, of movies? Like, what do you no, mean? so basically like the what they do movie? is they take in, like, they can take a movie and, like, it it can become part of what's called the Criterion Collection. And basically mm-hmm. what it means is they distribute their own versions of, like, a Blu-ray of a film. And usually they're um, really well-regarded films and they're sought after, like, releases because they take really good care of the film. They put in a lot of special features. Sometimes they'll do, like updated color grading or you know um you know different like scans or things like that they just really care about like the art of film and so they put a lot of work into uh you know kind of making this beautiful little homogenous collection of you know eclectic films that uh otherwise may not be quite as um obtainable at something like a walmart huh. unless you go to barnes and nobles and then they're on sale all the fucking time well, I'm going to more Barnes and Nobles. And, it's either Barnes and Nobles or Books a Million. I can't remember Barnes which is which. Barnes and Nobles underrated store in general. I agree. Cool. I agree. I'm, I feel like I'm bookstores actually, need to make a comeback. I would. I think they really sh- like I, are and should. They're delving into like vinyls and stuff yeah. like that. They're getting like people like that the physical media. It's making a comeback. Yeah. I think they. Sh- I think more bookstores. And here's an underrated thing. Go to your fucking library. Libraries Autumn, are sick. Autumn goes to Autumn's her library cool. and gets to watch movies and do all that shit. Gets to. Like, Autumn's physical, his friend. <laughs> gets physical releases. Of, Shout like, out stuff Autumn. That, Shout out to Autumn. Shout Don't to know Autumn. you personally. I know you. Uh, and she's like, yeah, I just rent these movies. <laughs> and even Alyssa, <laughs> and even Alyssa was saying, yeah, like we get <laughs> Alyssa's like, his girlfriend. <laughs> you don't gotta give everyone a fuck. Everyone's got a fucking title, man. Hey. Can we, when can we start calling people friend of the hey, pod? Partner. Yeah, she's my partner. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, partner. Come on, man. I didn't mean it. It's okay. Uh, it's June. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the chili talking. Garrett's oh. been... <laughs> Garrett's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was like Thanksgiving. my <laughs> mama. <laughs> talking about <laughs> Garrett's been eating chili for days and we have been reaping the rewards <laughs> <laughs> bro i got fucking beans to spare for oh you my, my friend oh my gosh oh my gosh that Jeez, louise anyway good golly miss Man, that, molly that made my fucking legs hurt oh. um what the fuck Criterion Collection. Um, oh, but go to your library because yeah. you can like rent out shit. I mean, it, I wish video stores still existed because like, God. oh, I want to go to my, I want to go to my family video. Oh, look, I can rent the new Zelda game. I want to see if I like it. Oh man, this is really good. Okay, I'll buy it. Yeah. Or like, oh man, let me try out the the new Avengers game for PS4. Huh? This Oops. fucking blows cock. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> spend a fucking cent fucking on it. Fucking suck. Yeah. They really have games that recent. Some some well, well yeah. I mean, na- if you can I mean, find a family video if you're really, lucky enough. Oh, there, we're talking there's family like videos, one. Yeah. I live one oh. that's like 15, 20. Actually, oh, it's you know still what? standing. It might have gone. That's I, I know. I know when I was like at the one that was at my house. Yeah, yeah. They were selling all their stuff. I bought. I remember movies. that's where I bought well, some of my stuff. I got back here. That, oh, that would yeah. Be, I bought Knives Out and Shazam. That oh, would just shit. be a I baller bought, move, actually. Like having that. Just like to go and rent. Stuff. Yeah, because exactly. Everything, everything's so expensive nowadays. Oh, are like you mo- kidding me? Movies, it's ridiculous. Video games, all. I mean, not really movies, but video so games. Uh, movies are getting. I mean, it depends on the movie. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I'd get that Criterion Collection shit. That's expensive. yeah. Well, the Criterion Collection, as good as they are, they are not inexpensive films. No, I yeah, I I, I haven't like bought one that's specifically for the Criterion Collection. I didn't even see the prices, but I was just more yeah. impressed that they were there. And yeah. I've watched two films recently by the Criterion Collection: um, Harakiri and Autumn. An autumn afternoon two completely different films i think they're both japanese films one like being really crazy about like samurai and like 
like a big anti government ca- like capitalism just like hey all like all your titles bullshit and then uh an autumn afternoon is one about like the sadness that comes when like you know like you have like the fears of being alone like this dude can't connect with his family and it's like i got how do i keep my family happy um how do i make my, how do I make my daughter happy i gotta marry her off quick i gotta marry her off to like a, a 50 year old guy so they'll be happy for her classic his, 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 his delete his i mean like, they're not wrong and it's the thing is that, that was like, a joke and like they, they have like these weird like ma- like there's weird moments when it's like they will go to bars and they'll play like the marching anthem for the japanese and they're just like very sentimental about it it's really bizarre and almost nothing happens but it's so weirdly true to life that it's like really weirdly poetic and really nice love a good movie where nothing happens Dude. shout out seinfeld shout out uh what is it flowers of the afternoon i'm sure i'm getting the name wrong it's the one where the dude's got a mirror for a head oh shout out flowers in the attic <laughs> Dude, um shout out flowers and in... we're gonna cut this what <laughs> i ran out of things to say <laughs> Col- collecting is just a real hassle because it's just so much money and i'm like okay like as much as i love having like a lot of dreamcast games because i love playing on the dreamcast i love playing on my gamecube like it's just so much for so almost little because it's like as much as i love playing on og hardware it's just a lot it takes up a lot of space it's, a, it's <laughs> don't a, i know it it takes up a lot of space it it yeah. and it's like sometimes it's just like stuff that like it's almost like a literal physical backlog like mm-hmm. as much as i love it like i have like i'd say 10 games for the dreamcast and i haven't played like a lot of them like as much as i would love to play through all of shenmue like because i own oh, it fuck yeah but it's like i gotta sit down and like be really ready to dedicate myself to that shit and it's hard and it's like the same thing goes for like movies like but with a movie i watch it once and i play it, but like mm-hmm. games can take a lot of time and they have a lot more replayability than it's not more... it's not a passive you know right not a passive uh pastime yeah and it's You'll expensive like the... people don't care about movies as much as they do care about games mm, i or... think it depends on the person definite first absolutely but as far as like the economy like the... audience as so. far yeah. as like, the economy for it all goes i'm sure i could go on ebay and maybe find the lighthouse for i'll say ten dollars for a blu-ray copy but if i want to cop- find a copy of pikmin 2 or wild woody yeah i'll have to go fuck myself for two hundred dollars because everyone's a <laughs> stupid asshole for that shit it's a good price to fuck yourself yeah <laughs> i've looked for wild woody copies because i've as previously mentioned i've got the sega cd i've got the equipment i have the technology i'm not spending two hundred dollars on wild woody yet and the thing is that it's a shit game. Yeah, it's nothing not but good. it's it's just the fact that like yeah, it was mentioned on like Oni plays and it's just like it's just an in joke, but it's still a fucking piece of shit game. It's like owning a golden turd. It's not even like fucking worth it at the end of the day. Yeah. As cool as it is, like as like a little bragging right. It's like yippee, I got it. It's like dude, look, I got a copy of Glover. It's a <laughs> piece of shit, it's but yippee. Meme. It's just a I meme. want a copy of Glover. I'm not gonna lie. Is that the Hamburger Helper guy? Or? Fucking heard that again. Actually, bastard. yeah, pretty it, much. It is the Hamburger Helper guy? I mean, it's not the no. same guy, but it's very similar. He's a little handy, oh. runs around, you move a ball. Because that's the only, I just think, like, who could be called Glover? Well, I mean, you Donald. were surprisingly close. Yeah, that's true. Shout out Prowler. Shout out. Shout, shout out shout, Prowler. Shout out Childish Gambino. <laughs> Honestly, great. Shout, shout, out, out, sh- shout out Troy Barnes. Shout out Child Gambling. Barnes. Shout out, uh... What the fuck is this? Shout out. Shout out Morbius. Shout out... Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-mm-mm. I really hope that picked up on the mic. <laughs> I, you know what didn't pick up on your mic? Your fucking farts. I'm still hearing you cook over here, you rat bastard. Ryan has some of the most egregious rip ass. Wait, you I've don't ever don't lie. I literally have heard you like, like, like they're petite because they're muffled by the no, cushion. That's no, I I, ha- I, I would no, tell Ryan, you. I'm, Ryan admits it. I'm, a, I'm an honest man when it comes to food. <laughs> I would I would okay. never. I haven't. Okay. I, I've been bur- I've been trying to burp though. Maybe I've, I've been hearing before. you must be sitting on a rat or something because I'm hearing some little squeaks, my friend. No, Ryan genuinely like when Ryan farts, that it's worse than death. Like it's worse than the stench of death. I have smelled death, and it's worse than that. Like I don't even know how he does it. There's some fucking Ryan like, makes his, his gut biome. Good. His gut biome is off the charts. He's concocting waste, toxic waste in his fucking colon, 
and expunging it on the world. It's just full. I mean, my gut biome's just full of little guys, and you know, when you got a lot of a oh, lot of guys. a lot of shit in the sauce, you're gonna have a stinky sauce. You know. Well, when you're when you're cooking with shit sauce. <laughs> Yeah. When you got a lot well, of shit that's in what the, the sauce. metaphor is. Yeah. What the metaphor? The metaphor is, <laughs> dude, when they, when you're cooking with shit sauce, it's gonna taste like shit. When you're cooking with ketchup, it's gonna taste like ketchup. <laughs> Did you know that ketchup is Vietnamese in origin? I did know that. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's very Americanized, mm. but it's from Vietnam. Yeah. We're the melting pot. Did you know that shit sauce is from your shit? That was a fart. Who farted? That wasn't. Don't look at me, you <laughs> I, I, fucking I, I, scapegoater. I was trying to be a dick, and I totally own it. Yeah, thank you. This is the world's worst podcast. Fuck! I forgot to turn that fucking light back on. Oh the shit! Best Turn it podcast. on. I'm turning it on. Okay, we're turning on the light real quick. Um, continuity, my ass. But yeah, I really enjoyed the um, it's like the weird. My really like my favorite line from you is continuity, my ass. Yeah, you'd say that like at least more than once. I really oh, yeah. twice now on video. Yeah. Oh really? That could be a nice little. A no, new, not on this. No, video. no. It's, the moment we're like, a, dude, that's his catchphrase. It's immediately not a catchphrase. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah you right. ruined it. Mm-hmm. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> that one's working. Huh? <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. That's the last one we're no, doing. No, but for real, I really enjoyed the, the Prowler. Uh, <laughs> way off topic, but I really enjoyed the Prowler cameo by Childish Cameo. I agree. I'm gonna ra- great. What movie I, was wait, wait. That I'm in? sorry. Uh, Spider Verse. an actual question? No, no, no. Like, like, which movie was he in? As, as Prowler, was oh, that just technically like Homecoming, reference? but he wasn't the Prowler yet. But hold on, I gotta run. Okay. I gotta, I gotta run it back just because we're talking about weird phrases. I was at work today. I work at a movie theater, and um, this guy comes in with this off-white shirt that like was clearly white when he bought it, but wasn't white anymore, <laughs> and fucking airbrushed on it off center, like in fucking Sanskrit was written, "Pickled Chicken Rampage." This man was with his wife and children. Sanskrit. Dude. <laughs> like, he... seriously, it said, Pickle Chicken yeah. Rampage, and I said something about it, and I was like, I like your shirt, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, and then his wife was like, turn around, and he turned around, on the back, airbrushed in Sanskrit, it just says, I'm fine, thanks. I don't get what the What the fuck No, there is, is no that? reference. I asked him, I was like, so what's the story behind that? And he's like, well, it beats just a dirty white shirt. <laughs> I like how he, ref- he he was he was aware that it was a dirty white shirt. What? Yeah. That's great. I I want one. I told him I want one. That's gonna be the podcast. Shirt. <laughs> no pickle, pickle merch rampage. merch store pickle, pickle chicken, chicken rampage. rampage. I'm fine. Thanks. And then another another shirt that's like a very white shirt. It's like what, what was his line about the white shirt? Uh, um, it beats a dirty white shirt. It's a dirty white shirt. <laughs> that's uh, I, very off topic, but I think my favorite things like whenever i see like stuff like from twitter users or from youtubers that are like hey here's like my merch i like don't follow ryan's twitter he just he just bullies people i am not putting any of your twitter links in the bio i don't even remember my twitter name to me it's either galatly.ryan or ryan.galatly try to spell my last name i'm sorry i interrupted you it was supposed to be just a little i'm sorry he interrupted you too I'm used to it. There, I think I really do not like. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think like I've never like fallen like really hardly in love with any YouTuber merchandise like ever. Yeah, I don't think I ever have myself. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. The, like, I've only ever bought like merchandise from I think one YouTuber, and it was like a charity thing. It was Scott the Waz. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not even Scott the Waz like branded shirt. It just says rated E for fear. And I fuck with that. Right. That's like, that's the thing. I think what makes like any brand strong or at least any imagery strong is that your shit looks cool. Yeah. I think the, the best people who do that is mega 64. Cause like all their stuff has mega 64 hidden in it. Like one of the shirts I really want to get from them. If I ever get the chance yeah. is this like girl with the top of her head removed. And like, is she just holding it in front of her body and like all of like the ooze is like spilling out into like a different color in the shirt, but her brain writes out mega 64. That's pretty sick. That's it awesome. looks amazing. Like Did you all their see, shit um... is like super hidden, like in like, you know, it's a mega 64 shirt for like, it's a shirt for fans, but it's a shirt that could be appreciated by everyone. It's not just a shirt that says ant dude. No, no offense. Ant dude. You're <laughs> I like totally ant fine. dude. I like ant dude. No, ant dude's great. Get but I'm all, dude merch. he's totally, he's totally <laughs> fine, but I'm just like. This is just for like Antude fans. Just to be like, yeah. yep, I like Antude, but I'm just like, I don't know. I want 
cool shit. And just having a shirt that's like, dude, Arlo. I'm like, uh, I mean. You're wearing son- a Super daddy shirt. I didn't buy this. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the fuck is Super daddy You, evidently. Fucking A-Right, baby. Where are Garrett's children? <laughs> Anyways. Right um, here. No, gross. Still so, intact. speaking of Mega64, um, did you see earlier this week, um, I did unfortunately see this on Twitter. There's fucking paparazzi photos of Al Pacino. I think it's Al Pacino. Going to see the fucking new, uh, god damn it. Going to see the new, um, Transformers movie uh, with his, it. I think his son. I may be getting the celebrity wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Al Pacino. Yeah. And his son's wearing a Mega 64 hat. No way. I, yeah. I don't know. That's right. amazing. It's ridiculous. Dude, the idea of that, like, it, like, that's the thing is that, like, it's cool because. I think that's another really crazy thing that I think about a lot is that celebrities are just people. They're just people. And people just like other people doing like other cool people things. Yeah. Like how... It's like the picture of Bob Odenkirk playing Melee. Yeah, oh, with um <laughs> David Cross. Yeah, yeah. David, yeah. David Cross, Cross. Yeah. Yes. Or like what is I swear there's pictures of like dudes from the Sopranos playing Melee or like they're at like GameCube venues and shit. Yeah. Or like it's like or how like the voice actor for Gumball from Amazing World Gumball, oh, yeah. like hangs out with like Super Mega, like Super Mega, and like just does their stuff. For, like, or Finn Wolfhart, yeah. Like, they're just like, do I like your stuff? And it's like, yeah, it's just cool people like other cool people, and I don't know. So like something about that is just really homey, and I kind of yeah. like that a lot. Small world. Well, besides you know certain celebrities like the Zuckerberg and such. Well, no, well, no. I humans. I just got done watching Social Network the other day for the first time. That movie's time. so fucking good. It's a really it's really good. good. It's one of Andrew Garfield's best good. performances, and mm-hmm. that's saying a lot. I agree. Yeah, right up there with. I've never seen anything else. Tick tick boom, boom hacksaw ridge. All... He's in hacksaw ridge. Yeah, he's in hacksaw ridge. He that's kicks cool. ass. That's the he's mil- the, he's military? Mr. Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, he's the main what character. The f- he's I like, haven't seen it. Let me get one more. God, let me get one more. I don't think this is. What's a, Hacksaw Ridge is the military? Yeah, it's king, the right? dude who's the vet who is he's like, like I don't want to kill I'm, no one. I'm Southern. I think he's Southern. I'm Mister. Ha- Wait, he's actually Mister Hacksaw Ridge. No, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm I mean glad. like he's the main character, but it. his name isn't Hacksaw Ridge. That's, that's Hacksaw that's, Ridge. That's, that's is the, the place he goes to. Yeah. yeah, it's all three of his names. Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah. What and he goes, God, I, just let me get one more. HSR. And he keeps, he just keeps saving people. He's like, I'm a conscientious objector. Fuck you. Get that man a 9-11. Let me save one more. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Um, I'm, just, hey, real, I'm gonna real, cut that. Real, real, what what do you f- mean? You, you got what the fuck are you just <laughs> dropping 9-11 like Dude, it's na- Skittles? 9-11 is Skittles. America, it's, it's been long enough. America. It's been long enough? America. <laughs> <laughs> God, you have God, you God, have God, saved God, it, God, it so hard. Just you went you went you, you went corporate, Garrett. You went corporate, <laughs> dude. The woke virus is gonna get us. Just, we deserved it. Let's let's be let's be honest. Ryan, what the fuck are you talking uh, about? The truth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people died? Innocent people, man. Uh, you know how many people and died? It's out again, and it's out again. You know how many people died in the Hindenburg? We still say shit like, oh, the humanity when I drop my Subway sandwich, you know? like <laughs> How is it back in? I'll have you put it out in. Out in. A second Subway sandwich has hit the floor. <laughs> when, we cl- when, we, when, we clip, when we clip this, it's going to be incredible. We got to clip these. This is, yeah, this is going to be a YouTube short. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah we're going to get canceled. God, uh, can you imagine we're trying? We're never going to oh get a job. In the future, they're gonna find this on YouTube. And be like, well, we wanted you to hire. We, uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling out the Jimmy. Jimmy. St- I'm pulling out the Fuck Jimmy Stewart impression. Jimmy Stewart. Well, uh, we, we, we wanted you to, we wanted to hire you here at the hospital, but uh, we can't, we can't help but notice that you're talking about um, uh, September 11, <laughs> 2001. Uh, wh- wh- what, do you, what do you, what do you, what do you make of that? And then I have to look Jimmy Stewart, uh, 50s oh actor, God. star extraordinaire, star of the hit oh film Harvey God. and others, in the eyes and say. He's Sorry, working at the hospital. I was thinking about Subway. Yeah, I'm Jimmy Stewart. I'm working at the hospital. I'd like you to meet my this friend Harvey. He's a dying. he's a big invisible rabbit. You're gonna make me say something to get this cut out in a second. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jimmy Stewart. Well, I can, you know, I got other I got others, but I'm just really on a Jimmy Stewart kick right now. You sure are. Yeah. Someone could say something that just rhymes with Jimmy Stewart. John will start going. Yeah, <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, guys, you guys want to hear my Jimmy Stewart impression? <laughs> yeah, that's the de-evolution. It's like the, it's just getting more and more deep fried. Of, of John does John does Jimmy Stewart impression. This is my impression of his From Jimmy impression. Stewart to fucking I gotta, Jim the Earthworm. Okay, wait. I gotta. I, don't fucking uh, Earthworm Jim me. Okay, wait. I gotta bring something up. So I was just, you know, talking to my my work friend Rachel. Uh, shout out because I'm gonna make you watch this. Um and uh Poor girl. yeah i've been shout talking to her a lot rachel. about uh jimmy stewart oh yeah rachel why don't you give no, a shout no, out to no, rachel shout out rachel no hard feelings oh my God. rachel uh ryan used to <laughs> ryan used to uh, yeah 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 no yeah no context for anything no hard feelings um so anyways i was hanging out with rachel and we were talking about jimmy stewart because we've been watching a lot of jimmy stewart movies recently and um i decided that on a whim as a joke i would look up jimmy stewart asmr and I found one. I found one. And it's fucking Jimmy Stewart talking. It's like putting Jimmy Stewart in, like, It's a Wonderful Life, but in his real life. And he walks up to someone and he's like, oh, man, uh, you know, it sure is great that no one's, like, flooding me asking for autographs. I'm going to go back to my mansion. And they're like, Jimmy, you don't have a mansion. Oh, what are you talking about? And then he walks up to some kid in the street and he's like, oh, don't you know me? Uh, I'm Jimmy Stewart. Oh, uh, don't you know me? And he's like, no, sir, I don't know you at all. And then he's talking to the angel and he's like, Oh God, what's going on? You know me. Uh, I'm Jimmy Stewart. I was in a you know a vertigo, a it's rear a window. Lie. It's a wonderful it's life. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're, and then he you're looks you're at him, to us. and then he goes, bit. and he goes, all those roles were given to Cary Grant. And he goes, no, God. Those parts were all done by Cary Grant. Oh, Cary Grant. Be careful what you wish for, Jimmy Stewart. Oh. This is just a bit. This is real. This is a bit for you this to is do a the bit Jimmy for John. John. Look up Jimmy Stewart. No, 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 no. Okay, look up Jimmy Stewart. Look up Jimmy Stewart ASMR. This video has like 200 views. I thought at the beginning the ASMR was when you said pudding. <laughs> like, I, what, I, what did I, I say I, pudding? I, I, you, oh, like, pu you said P-U-T-T-I-N-G. Pudding, pudding like Jimmy Stewart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought you I thought you meant pudding. <laughs> pudding pu Jimmy Stewart. No, 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 no. I thought you meant pudding in Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> like pudding in, in Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> this is delectable. Like you, you hear the pudding and it's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, you got some lovely tapioca there. Let me get a lick of that. Let me uh, let me get it in my jaws. Oh, God. This is, this is phenomenal. Hey, where's my wife, Mary? Where's Mary? Oh God, I, I I don't like the look of those I don't like the look of those stairs. I got vertigo. This is gonna be funny to exactly one person. Hi Rachel, sorry about that. Hi Stanley Kubrick's ghost. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick's fucking rolling in his grave. He didn't even make those movies, but he's still or doing wait, it. Oh, Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock, Hitchcock is who you're talking about. Bad, I was just gonna I was just gonna bad. go with it. They're both rolling in their graves. We Sh remain. Yeah, cause they ain't little. <laughs> Rotun. Well, Stanley Kubrick was like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, they were heavier. Fat phobic joke. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, like, I, it's okay. I, I, I used to be fat, I thought, so I can. I, I can thought laugh you at were like legit, like I making know. like a, a bit that they're like small people. Like they were no bigger than fucking Rico over here, like in their grave. That's like for six foot tall people. I was like, what are you going on about? But then you, then you started talking about rolling. I thought that they fucking put like Alfred Hitchcock on like a rotisserie chicken <laughs> to make sure that he's always golden brown in the, in the tomb. Oh, <laughs> Dude, he's a master of suspense. When are they going to take him off the rotisserie roller? <laughs> I keep waiting. I keep waiting for them to take him off. Dude, he's the master of his craft. I, I thought you were gonna go with like you put him on film or something. Like, oh, oh I mean, I mean, for for yeah. Stanley Kubrick, they got him on the set for 2001. He's constantly just walking in walking the, the, the fucking the, circle. Yeah, forever. Uh, you know, my favorite director is probably uh, probably who directed Dodgeball. Uh, who is my favorite? Ross director? and Marshall Thurber. I like the movie Dodgeball more than I should. He's a big fan of Dodgeball. It's not I, a good. Eh, eh, it's a good. It's I a good feel movie. like it's you. Fun, yeah. You would probably feel the exact same way about Cable Guy, which I definitely think we should watch because I do not like that movie. But... <laughs> okay, put some respect on John. <laughs> Wait. I think you would like this movie because you know, I, mean, I don't like it. The Cable Guy, do you? Yeah, I do. Okay. No, John, no, you're okay, talking. Put some respect on John's. I think John's you would a, really John, like Cable. Guy. John's a big Larry. How do you go like you know? I, took, I, like, I tell you what, I come down here. I come talking in the basement. I, I come talking about Jimmy Stewart. I'm talking. I, I want to eat Prado sick. This is gonna devolve into a Jimmy Stewart accent. I tell you what, it already did. <laughs> I was like, it already did. You, you look John up and down. This guy likes Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> but no, the, if the somebody on the street walked up to me and said that I looked like the kind of guy who like routinely enjoys Larry the Cable Guy. No hate to Larry. I'd blow my brains out. Blow him out right in the concrete. Yeah. Fucking uh, good.
So I figured that uh, we should talk about some of uh, some strange dreams we've had recently. Uh, Ryan was telling us about one that he had had earlier, and I thought that'd be a good place to start. Yeah, really, really weird dream recently. Yeah, we're gonna dream- take a tonal shift. Yeah, yeah. D- dreaming's actually been pretty, pretty new to me lately. Uh, you know, like beating a weed addiction, a marijuana addiction, as as lame as that sounds. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. I think it's good that you're trying to better yourself. Yeah, yeah, for real. Uh, <laughs> you know, apparently smoking too much and before you sleep just takes your dreams away. Nobody told me that, and dare the fuck. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> it's on the back of the pamphlet, like dude, immobile. you missed it. The line <laughs> was tiny text, like, like, away dreams. Can, like, like no dream for you, lol. Can you imagine if Cold they just like ma- like marijuana? Can you imagine you're in dare and they play one of those videos for you? The line just walks on screen and goes, "If you smoke marijuana, you're never gonna dream again." And that's a fucking fact. This, this is your dreams. It's like a page. This is your dreams. <laughs> this is your dreams on drugs. Yeah, it just yeah, turns yeah. off. And it's just like a black. I was gonna say like, <laughs> this is your dreams on marijuana. Black screen logo comes on. It's yeah. like, well, how do you like that? No more fun for you. No more. Yeah, but some wondering. kid with night terrors is going to start toking immediately. I mean, it's not it, it, good. I, I talked to some friends recently, actually, who are heavy smokers, and they um they love not having dreams. Yeah, no, no, they they they're just very vivid dreamers already. Like they lucid dream, yeah, and it never oh, it never sure. happened for them. Interesting. They 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 smoke a lot and they still have dreams. Um, but for me personally, it took them away. So recently, I uh I've been napping too. And I, I had a little God, nap. I, I let it. I let it go a little too long. I saw an ostrich tearing itself apart, just a gaping hole. Yeah, well, you, well, you, well, you, you, you gotta give like a little more. Like, well, one, send me the picture because Ryan drew a picture. Yeah, of I drew it, it in that a journal? nice little journal pic. I mean, I, it was, I don't want. They're not gonna see it from here. That's a good. It's, but it's, it's an it's, ostrich. It's, it's a 4K video. I can zoom in. Fuck. Okay, let me pull it up. But yeah, just a silly little drawing here of um, the ostrich. And essentially, in the dream, I was scrolling through Twitter. Oh, sorry for the sniffle, but um, it was <laughs> no, just heavy shit. It was just tearing itself apart, um, and had a huge gaping hole in its chest that uh, it was it was doing to itself. And I just thought it was real neat. Yeah, Are you. I, do you think that I think I, I think you guys like also deep pre- psyche. You also got press it with you like you said you woke up and you're like God that made me so happy and I I feel like <laughs> did not know how to take that information like where do where does one go from here being like. Dude, I, I saw this like bird killing itself. God, I woke up and I felt like I could take on the world. Yeah. Man, I'm sure that was concerning for you, especially considering just, some of the other stories I've had about animals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my Christ! Do not we get into the no, fish? no. I I'm gonna get put up. on a no. list if we talk <laughs> about the fish and the bird and the frog. I feel like I gotta cut this out because <laughs> I don't want like I, a children's book. I'm, 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 I'm cutting this part out. But what? It's, it's gold. <laughs> yeah, gold fish, but. Oh. You know, it, it was... lay off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Classic was good. Miller filler. It was good. Ooh, don't get that fucking burst reverse shit. Get that Ooh, he tried All to right. burst reverse him. All right, now we're cutting it. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. This is what All we right. we're only allowed to Another cut when my jokes. <laughs> The Hindenburg part stays in or I leave. <laughs> the you, humanity stays or I walk. We're doing it for, we're doing it for the uh, we're doing it for here. All <laughs> oh, the humanity. We all, we all have a line that we we won't let be crossed. John's is Jimmy Stewart, mine's the Hindenburg <laughs> slash 911, and yours is Goldfish. <laughs> Goldfish. Wow. Wow, the, the 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 fucking gap between all of this. Oh yeah, Jimmy Stewart, Goldfish, the Hindenburg. You're you're out of your fucking gourd right now, my I'm man. I'm in my gourd, bro. Now I'm just imagining Jimmy Stewart just watching the Hindenburg explode. Yeah, go, go. Oh, oh god, all oh, the humanity. Oh god, what's that, Harvey? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I imagine they're probably not having a fantastic time themselves. Uh, it's no longer a wonderful life. Oh, God, this really, that's really, <laughs> really not a great short. life for them. It's a pretty shitty life, actually. Oh, man, really their, their life must suck. Every oh. time a Hindenburg explodes, an angel gets its wings. Uh, this is where I cut because half, like, half the podcast is fucking Jimmy Stewart impressions. <laughs> Stewart cast. Hey man, there's there's a, get there's a, a decent a, assist from his family. There's a subset of Jimmy Stewart fans that are gonna pick gonna go up on this, this. They're and all they're like, gonna love it. Yeah, I want to know the intersection. Oh I'm probably like the only one. The intersection of like people who enjoy talking about the things we're talking about, and also Jimmy Stewart, because I feel like that's trying to find the mix between a 20 year old and a 75 year old. My my grandpa. And my college friends would love this fucking podcast. Yeah, but only if you play it in very specific intervals. And um, people that like cute guys with brown hair. 
We just had a very scintillating discussion about the error of our ways. We took Ryan to some rehab. We talked through our issues, and we all just want to say we think he was in the right. Yeah, that was bullshit. We stroke each other off on screen. The, yeah. Is it, right. later. Do you guys know about the, wait, do you guys know about the Beatles, like, masturbation Three, rooms? Two. Wait, the Beatles really? and yeah, masturbation? Yeah, do you guys know about the Beatles masturbation rooms? Uh, this okay. is, I want this in the pod. This is bullshit. Like Ringo no, is stroking real. Paul, and Paul was stroking Ringo. No, no, Ringo so they weren't jerking or... off each other, but they would sit in a dark room in a circle, and they'd all jerk off. And they would all just say the names of women they found attractive. Me, and then Shell, Ringo, my bell. I don't know French. Um, actually, I know I know very little French. Um, but anyways, so apparently Ringo would just keep like throwing out the name of the prime minister, and then I'll get pissed at him. I love Ringo. I love Ringo. Ringo I, is oh prime minister. Ringo is the funniest Beatle, and you can fucking quote me on What's that. What's the prime minister? And dude, he gets a lot of shit, but being the funniest guy out of those three, or they're four, all funny. Fucks. Yeah, the funniest guy out of those four, and you know, just playing good ass drums. Yeah. And also, I'm sorry. Got, that's great. Octopus's great. garden. Slaps. Oh, Octopus Garden is not to be slept, slept on. on. I have no idea what the fuck I'm you're man. talking about. You've never heard the Beatles song? Well, this Octopus guy never, doesn't I've like I've the never... Beatles and probably makes it other people's business. I've, <laughs> <laughs> I've never listened to a full Beatles album and ever been like, dude, Beatles. Well, hey, you know, I mean, that's fair. Um, yeah, I know yeah. I, if you genuinely I mean, asked me to name wrong. like two Beatles songs, I could say Yellow Submarine. I mean, that, that, that's a genuine. I'm like, wait, I'm wait, actually, wait, no, I want to yeah. see. Come on, name another Beatles song. Um, Yellow Submarine. Yeah. Please do not. Do- <laughs> what have I done? Nah, we're um, just staring intently at it. Um, fuck, I keep thinking about. I'm not, who the fuck? I was thinking of like beautiful people, but that's. Who married Yoko Ono? John, John Lennon. Lennon. John Lennon. Is who he, is a Beatle. Okay. Was. He's, he's one of them. <laughs> he's um, dead now. Past Sorry all... to break the news. No, they're not all dead. Ringo and Paul are still alive. Holy yeah, shit. Paul, still Paul, Paul's still making music. He had a great song with Anderson Park recently. Winter. Paul, Winter Paul Comics. McCartney is a gift to mankind. But anyways, yeah, let's. I wanna. I don't wanna let him get off easy. Name another Beatles song. Okay, we don't have to put them out. Let's see. Like I was, I almost. It's say the most famous I, band of all time. He can name two songs. I, I, I'm literally like struggling right now. No, it's all well, right. You, I, wait, I, wait, I, wait, I, wait, I was. My only thought was like get around. Rob, like, but like that's Beach Boys. That's that not fucking. That's not Beatles. You know. Is a fair, What's a no- fair wait, wait, wait. confusion. Wait, I almost said we're the monkeys. No, that's hey, the monkeys. Hey, the, monkeys the monkeys is also a good, a good one Beatles to confuse. Song. Hey, hey, we're the Beatles. Nope. People say we beat all around. <laughs> oh, Mickey, I don't think they did that one. If anyone knows what the fuck I'm talking about, I'm gonna suck no. your cock. <laughs> um, but it at- doesn't know a single Beatles song, but can reference niche Newgrounds cartoons like Wacky Game Show for Kids. Yeah, that's, that's Garrett me. Miller. That's <laughs> Garrett Miller. <laughs> we yep. all bring a different kind of vibe to the podcast. Yeah. Yep. Garrett brings a new grounds vibe. Yeah, definitely a new grounds. Arguably vibe. the most important vibe. Yeah, everyone remembers Pico's day at school. Pico's oh, school day. But um, unfortunately, we do. <laughs> Talking about uh Tyler Crater a little bit ago, he actually on his podcast, a podcast he was on, talked Whoa. about how he he he's like, I don't I don't Imagine fuck with the Beatles at all. Wait, what? Yeah, Tyler Whoa. was literally just like, well, he he was talking about how um people that make lists for things. Uh, like he said, like like rap Twitter and shit. He's like, my favorite, my favorite rap songs, are like Ready to Die, like you know, and a bunch of like '90s like gangster rap things on his like in his like right. top five. And he's saying that like those are not your top five favorite albums. Like he's like, you just got hair on your dick. To quote, to quote Tyler, <laughs> like those are not your favorite, you know, uh, rap albums. Like be honest about your rankings instead of just trying to make the perfect like top five yeah, type yeah. thing and he like his example for himself was like like i don't fuck with the beatles at all you know like why would i ever have them you know anywhere near my like you know list for imagine them. it's like he's like 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 what's God, personal dude, to you probably, and like what you've had ex- experience with and i really resonated with that that's fair i i love him for yeah, that. Uh, that's yeah. why like i'm i'm not ashamed to say that don falls in my top five movies oh yeah and me top somewhere in my top 10 scooby-doo two monsters unleashed is in there understandable I, james I gunn is the goat he is. I that might be my favorite. He's director. firing on all cylinders. Oh, right now for Absolutely. sure, especially with the Guardians run. Yeah, great stuff. I mean, I love the movie Skin of a Rink. People f- say the movie's a big piece of shit, and I can completely understand why. But that's, fuck, yeah. I mean, that's I James Gunn. No, 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 it's no, a, no, no, it's a horror it, movie. Yeah, it's a really weirdly niche, obscure analog horror film that is hmm. like I really, really like. But every every comment for on Facebook is just fuck this movie. Biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> like so this was just Garrett, fucking Garrett takes a look. My kind of movie. My Dude, kind I of legit guy. like. So. I think it's legit the funniest thing ever. Cause it's like my two favorite horror movies are 
found footage, weird analog films, uh, Blair Witch, and fucking Skin and Marink. I, I love both those movies like so much because they're just so weird. Yeah, no, Garrett, I think Garrett, there's absolutely substance to Garrett that. brings that niche, that niche little uh, yeah. nice I bring that stupid, vibe. like, this shouldn't be enjoyed, but I enjoy it anyway kind of vibe. That's, well, that's okay, our target okay, audience. Fair, you're talking to the guy who off screen has a Morbius poster. Yeah, and a Viagra clock. That's in my room. <laughs> And I got it at a garage sale for fifty cents, and you're jealous. I yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a jealous thing. It wasn't a, it wasn't a dig. To oh, for example, to to, oh. to get back on track though, John, oh, yeah, what's about... a dream you've had recently? Oh shit, me? Yeah, you. Well, uh, the most recent one I have had, or at least I can remember, isn't really anything of substance. Uh, again, shout out to, I just I just like saying friend of the pod. You know, that's I feel like. Very, very like. Shout out Holland, man. Shout out to friend of the pod again, <laughs> Rachel. Brandon, um, I, I work at the movie theater with Rachel, and I forgive I, me. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, <laughs> go on. Don't. It's a good thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. So I had a dream that Rachel and I were working at the movie theater, right? And um, what the fuck? Ryan's <laughs> just like showing us his I'm thumb. Just, I know I'm going nuts, man. Like we, we kept you on track. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. I'm in my dream. I'm working at the movie theater with Rachel. It's very normal. Like a lot of dreams, you know, you have somehow. I'm not looking at you guys playing thumb war. I can't think. We're listening. Yeah, I am. Okay, so you know how sometimes you have a dream and you're like looking at things, and it is it like you know where you should be, but you absolutely can't figure it out. Um, but everything was perfectly normal, and all of a sudden, Paul Blart walks in. This is not a joke. This is a dream that I had. Paul Blart, mall cop, walks in with one of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life. So and I don't say that to be like, wait, 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 wait. I don't mean to womanize. I'm just saying like a irresponsibly attractive woman next to Paul Blart. It was, was that, his it girlfriend. Was, it was Paul Blart 100%. So, yeah, like it, was you, you, like it wasn't were, Kevin James. It wasn't someone who looked vague. It was Paul Blart. You, and he had a shirt that said pickled grilled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was pickled chicken rampage. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry. The dirtiest um, white shirt. Yeah, <laughs> it beats a dirty white shirt. Um, but he walked in and he was just like really cool. He was like, hey, can I get a ticket to uh, Transformers Formers? Rise of the Beast? And I was like, sure thing, Paul Blart. And he walked away. And that was my dream. I also sure had thing, one. Paul Blart. Yeah. I also had one where I was assaulted by, like, most of the people in my high school for saying something. Uh, and then I woke up in a cold sweat actively Jesus. saying, get away from me. But, Holy you know, that's not man. as fun as Paul Blart. Just so we don't have random people's names in the cast, whisper a name <laughs> no, from no, the high school. No, we'll someone that, that we'll, someone we'll that beat you up. No, we'll do it no, after. Chill. What? Oh no well, no no! Guess, yeah, the microphone shouldn't whisper. Yeah, yeah my yeah, bad. No wait, rookie. Oh, oh, no wait, one I'll notable. To you. Um, we were dug into Paul Blart. Paul Blart beat me up. It was Jimmy Stewart. James <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart beat me up in my dream. He's oh oh! Jimmy say say a name. Say a name. You say Jimmy Stewart. I go on a game show. Any name? Name one name. Jimmy Stewart. Name a man. Jimmy Stewart. Paul Blart. <laughs> it really Chilogan. is a wonderful life. Oh, Jesus Especially Christ. when you're serving Paul Blart in your movie theater job. Uh, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. And I hope to meet Jimmy Stewart there. Hell's coming to you. Yeah. <laughs> Watch underneath that chair, pal. You're going to see some fucking demon yeah. fingers pulling what's the, what's the What's, like, the most fucked dream you've had? Or, like, um, you, know, I, you know, if it's too personal, like, what I, is a fucked dream you I have? guess it should be Garrett's turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um... Only dream I had recently because we saw me and Ryan saw Spider Verse again. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Sidebar: I Garrett you. hasn't been dreaming lately. No, I don't have very many dreams. It's because like, he's he's on the Zaza. I've been on that. And it's not because he's on the Zaza though. On yeah, a real yeah, note. no. Like <laughs> on a real note, he's he does not. Yeah, I'm on that good cushion alcohol. Like I literally go to bed. Like I do this, I wake up. Like it's like I fucking teleport. Like, it's awesome. It's like uh, like when I wake up. Like it's literally nothing in between. Very little thoughts or memories that stick with me. Like I just wake up and I'm. Um, back waking up the sun is up and the birds are chirping yeah. like not like no little like oh what was like my brain like concocting absolutely nothing well you think you just didn't bummer. remember them or no because yeah, like question because the thing is just like, don't remember every dream. well like i don't remember every dream but like i try and write them down when i do or like the right. dream i had recently when i was talking to you guys like i had like 50 to, I, I had like three different dreams where like i like would go to, like i woke up and went back to bed then woke up and went back to bed like i was actively dreaming and almost like when I got bored of a dream, I'd wake up and go back to bed as if I was like changing the fucking TV channel, which yeah. was super weird. That is weird. So when I dream, I really dream. But when I don't, it's just fucking radio static. I love how it's so dreams are so 
person to person. Yeah, they really are. They, like the way they're formulated. There's such a bizarre thing. It's like we haven't even really cracked the code on why we dream. Oh, dreams, I feel like, are like the real new frontier. Yeah. Like when we're talking I about scientifically. Like I, they're really interesting. Just the, the whole idea of like, what is a dream? Yeah. Like yeah. that's – it's weird shit. I agree. I honestly would not be surprised if it's like – like you said, like a TV station – I mean, I know this sounds like some Joe Rogan ass shit, but like to a different. Hey, like, Jamie, you Jamie, know, pull up my dream. <laughs> Rachel, uh, you're saying Jimmy. <laughs> I said Jamie. <laughs> you said Jimmy. <laughs> you, did, you did. It's uh, you're gonna be dreaming about Jimmy. Oh God! Hey, pull up. The, pull oh. up that video, of me. <laughs> of me. <laughs> That's I wasn't. Good. You did this. You did this. This is your fault. Yeah. Um, but I could somewhat see like our brains just being like, huh, like. Or at least my brain being like, what's well, interesting? Oh, this is a cool ghoulish nightmare. Keep going. Yeah. I know I've had one time I had sleep paralysis. Ooh. Well, that's always a fun thing to talk about. <laughs> the first and only time I can remember having sleep paralysis was I remember I, I was at my place, my home. And, like, it's weird when, like, I know I'm awake because I look at, like, the stuff that's on. It's like, okay, I see the clock. I see the TV receiver. Like, I see what has, like, little bits of light that I know. It's like, okay, this is my room. And then I see them start to go away. Like, I'm like, huh, the red on the the Time Warner, like, cable box just, like, went away. Maybe like I, I am dreaming or like maybe I'm just like like my eyes are so fucking heavy like I'm just starting to like close them, but then I essentially see not like what I thought was my grandma going to use the restroom at night and I was like okay she's going to use the restroom, so I just see like this like shadow moving throughout the hallway because there's a mirror right in front of my room so like in my room I see room doorway mirror mirror that's like partially to the bathroom and like a corner of a hallway dude it was, it was jimmy stewart <laughs> i'm right, gonna right. fucking get you garrett no oh my god put down put, yeah, all right i'm I've, sorry no more jimmy I've stewart for had enough all right i'm sorry um and <laughs> oh no the light grew yeah. or like no the, the so like the shadow just started to grow and i was like oh well the first thing that coined was me was like huh like my grandma's in a wheelchair I'm surprised I'm not hearing that wheelchair because it's usually so fucking loud on our floors. Yeah. But then, like, I'm like, huh, no sound. And then I'm just seeing the shadow not go to the bathroom. And then it's just complete blackness, like, consumes the door frame. And then it starts to bleed into the room. And I'm like, yo, what the Dude, you, fuck is going on? by the ick. Like, legit, like, the fog was fucking coming. And it really worried me because I'm like... I and it was my first thing, and what's the first thing you think of when you have sleep paralysis? I can't move, and it's like, oh fuck, oh, this is fucking horrifying. Close my eyes, it's still happening. Ooh. Open my eyes, still happening. It's the darkness is just growing. It's not a like a person or a thing. It's just the the disappearing of everything. I watched the. the yeah. I'm, I watch, like, the clock, like, on my desk just, like, get sucked in by blackness. So I'm developed. like, what the fuck is going on? And, like, I don't, like, I so think it just you, got to me. Are you, like, standing or are you just laying I'm in your bed? I'm laying in bed. Just, like, your head's so I'm, yeah. just, I'm just like this, like. Jesus Christ, Shinji. And then I, and I later Get in the void, Shinji. It was the most recent time I was sleeping and did this. <laughs> Like as if I was dying. That's a scene we need to film. Yeah. All right, hold on. I got. <laughs> that I right gotta... there. What you just said. That, like you specifically in it. Yeah. Because your beard and your hair would work great with like a d darkness background. It's just your face. <sighs> I that think would be sick making as that fuck. might be hard, oh, but yeah, I sense. would be super down with just what, like whatever that. you just did needs to be on screen is what I'm yeah. saying. As like, cringy as that sounds, it, I that yeah. would fire. It needs to be on screen. Did I ever? It was um, a great performance. This is a huge tonal shift, but just you reminded me of just like waking up um, from a dream. Just like, <gasps> did I ever tell you guys about the dream I had where I was like uh, in a in a car that couldn't stop? In a car that couldn't stop. You know yeah, this dream? You told me about it. Okay, so I'll tell That's you. That's like Garrett. a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, a couple years ago. Yeah, it was like told about me that, four years ago. Yeah, it was already like years past. Yeah, yeah. So it was about four years ago. I was having a hard time, and um, I, like every night I was having car crash dreams. You know? Oh, what the? Says fuck? something about the psyche. But anyways, so this this one's this one's Freud's Field Day. Yeah, Go something. On. So alliteration. I'm driving in my car, and down the down the street I live in, and I'm going 
insanely fast, like 90 miles an hour, like double the speed limit. And I don't want to be, and I can't stop the car. Um, and I'm just like trying to swerve in and out. And all of a sudden I see police sirens behind me, or I guess po I see police lights. I hear oh, police sirens dude, cop your and they're chasing me worse. because they don't, I mean, they, you know, all they see is runaway car. They think I'm just being an asshole. So I'm, I'm doing my best to go around cars and things. I'm going down my road and all of a sudden, cause I live in a pretty rural area, but all of a sudden there's just hay bales in the road. Um, and I'm swerving around all these fucking hay bales. Bitches hit back. Yeah. And I, I turn on the radio for whatever reason. I'm trying to slow down the car. The brakes aren't working. I turn on the radio, and all I hear is the fucking the police. Jimmy like, Stewart. All you <laughs> yeah, hear is yeah. Jimmy Stewart. I'm oh, sorry. we've got. Bad. Um, I'm sorry. I like gave in. Oh, we got a, a we ass. got a bogey inbound on State Route 45. Uh, I think we better catch up and get uh, on your radio. 90, 90, 93 yeah. point three, the wolf oh, here. Yeah, but no, <laughs> you, you cannot reference ninety-eight point three. You like wolf. the wolf? Dude. Classic rock, baby. It's got that yeah. Nirvana. Okay, that is a good Allison station. Yes, ninety-eight point seven, the fish. Shout out ninety-three point three, the wolf. Shout out the wolf. Um, but no. So I turn on the radio and I hear the police are like. We got a bogey in band. We got to go chase this guy down. We got to run him off the road. He's a maniac. We got to take him out. So I'm freaking out. And all of a sudden, I see in front of me, constructed of hay, is a ramp. It's not even hay. Just a fucking ramp in the middle of the Why road. I don't know, because I live on a farm. And so I'm swerving. I'm like, well, I got no other choice. I'm going nigh 100 miles an hour. I got to I gotta go up this hay ramp. So I'm in this little, sh like this tiny little Dodge Caliber. Going 100 miles an hour. Name dropping cars. The blue, baby. Yeah, my the boy my, in blue. Yeah, blue. rest in peace, PJ. Oh, really? Uh, he's no longer with us. Well, right? he's with my cousin. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah it's all right. It's still in the family. Um, So I drive off the ramp, and I smack down. And I'm like, man, like my blood's really pumping. My blood's really pumping. Like I'm like really, like there's a lot going on. I've got a lot of adrenaline. And I, this is probably, it's maybe TMI for the first pod. But I have a thought in my head. And as I'm saying the thought in my head, I wake up in bed and I sit up and I say the words out loud. I have a boner. <laughs> <laughs> hello. And I, oh, hello, lady. And I, hello. And I sit up and I look down and I'm lo and waiting. behold, lo and behold, I was right. I was, I was so upset by my dream, my blood was, my adrenaline was going so hard that I got a boner and it woke me up. Right on. Right on. Right on. Hell yeah. Man, from horror dreams to hard dreams. Yeah. From horror. Which is which? From horror dreams to hard ons. This is. The troglomites. The troglomites. <laughs> hey, wait, well, I got a question. What's your favorite kind of dinner? Oh, it's uh, it's a <laughs> shut the fuck up. You it's a Thanksgiving you dinner. Fucking you fucking, you're gonna make me say something. <laughs> you're too anti <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make it cut. It's because we're seeing uh, controversial. Alrighty. Well, thank you. If you made it this far, then you're probably one of us three. You fell um, asleep watching this. Yeah. yeah. If you made it this far, you're either me, John, or Garrett. Watching home. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most truest shit on earth. I've said that like three times during this. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, yeah, I kind of just it back. Uh, yeah, Dude, yeah, I, I can't wait for this to have 15 views from us, from us both all watching it five times over. Yeah. yeah. All right. We well, got time for it. Average view time? Oh, three minutes? Yeah. So, future John, future Ryan, future Garrett, I hope you guys are having a good day. If anyone else, by the love of God, ends up watching this, I'm sorry, and we hope to see you next time. We love you. On, yeah, on we love you. If you, if you generally stick decide around, that, if, you yeah. decide, if you decide that you fucking did watch this, thanks a lot. That's really cool. Or if you skip to the end, that's uh, that's still thanks a lot. For, that still counts for YouTube algorithm. I'm sure they don't look into that. Yeah, uh, we hope. Follow our Patreon. Support us on Patreon. Um, push, we don't have push a Patreon. And, push and pee. Push and pee. Uh, you know, we as we always say here on Troglomites, pickle chicken rampage. I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been so exhausted doing anything ever. Oh, I could... <laughs>